Welcome. My name is Matt Bautel, and my colleague Dave Fisher and I would like to welcome you to this unit on Google Cloud Endpoints and specifically working with the back end. All right, so let's start off here by, by taking a quick look at um, a demo of what we're going to be creating together as we go through this unit, right? Um, this is actually a simple, uh, ni nice app here that deals with movie quotes. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and, and pull that up. Um, so I'm going to go here to Bautel uh, Movie Quotes um, uh, dot AppSpot dot com. You can go there now if you'd like. Uh, this this is this is running, uh, and AppSpot dot com is where um, Google App Engine apps are are hosted. So let me go ahead and click on that, and we see that we have the opportunity to um, to add movie quotes and then to view ones that have been added in the past. All right, so I'm going to go ahead here and and add a quote. Uh, so let's see. How about everything is awesome? Oh, you know that's from the Lego movie, right? So Lego, if I can spell it correctly, uh, Lego movie, and we submit it, and we see that, that it shows up right here, right? So really neat things, right? So we're gonna, first of all, um, deal with, uh, with making very simple web apps um, like this. And second, um, we're actually gonna be looking at, uh, at how to write an API that we could use to, um, to interact with this movie quote model. Uh, and to do that, I'm actually going to go to the same website here, so Bautel Movie Quotes, but then I'm going to type in slash underscore ah uh, slash api slash explorer. And if I go there, uh, it brings up a nice little interface here uh, by Google uh, that's going to give us uh, access to the Movie Quotes API. So I click on this guy and we'll see that, that I've already implemented most of the, the, the CRUD interface here. All right, so I could insert a quote. So let's go ahead to this guy. And within our request body, um, I'm going to add a quote. All right, so I don't know. Uh, I'll just say some quote. I've, I've run out of good quotes here. Uh, and then we'll add another one here for a movie. It comes from some movie. All right, and then I'll execute this. And we'll see that, it, that it, it's going to make a request, all right, which is a, a post message here. Response comes back OK. Looks great. Um, I can go back and I can list my quotes. I'll just execute. I don't want to give them any limit or order or anything like that. And we'll see that, that the ones that have been created here, so some quote, uh, as well as the ones that you saw in the, in the web app, are all here. All right. uh, let's go ahead and delete this last one. So I'm going to grab this entity key, copy this guy on my clipboard, and go back to the delete method. Uh, and I'll paste in that entity key. And we'll execute that guy. And then it's going to um, make an HTTP uh, request to delete. And then the response comes back um, as OK. So let's go back, list once more. And we'll see that that sum quote has been deleted. Right. So um, we're going to be making this, uh, making this, this API that, that does all this. Right. Uh, good stuff. So what are we going to be learning along the way in the unit? All right. Uh, so the first thing is that you know endpoints is hiding a lot for us. Um, what it's actually doing is is using um, uh, services and everything to create an API uh, that is really working with JSON or JavaScript object notation. Although we won't write a single line of JSON right as we do it. Uh, so we're going to be building our own endpoints API, this Movie Quotes app that we're creating. Uh, we'll test it using the API Explorer that I just showed you. And you'll also learn how to troubleshoot um, errors that you get um, as, as you go. All right, so that's what we hope to learn as, as we do this. Uh, so starting off with our first sort of overview here uh, lesson is, is, you know, what is endpoints itself, right? So, so what is endpoints? You know, how do, how do we go through this process of, of making a, an API? Uh, sort of high level before we dive in. Uh, so this is really the, the, the big picture. Although we are going to be focusing now just on the back end. So while we're eventually going to be writing various clients and everything, we're, we're not going to focus on those right now. So the first thing uh, that we have to think about here is, is, you know, if you wanted to store data in the cloud and you wanted it shared, you know, between, between different devices and so on, certainly uh, using SQLite on your device isn't going to be enough, right? SQLite is only for, for one app. You might think, oh, use a content provider. But again, that's still limited to your, to your device, right? So different apps talking to each other. Uh, 
so if we want to store it out on the cloud, you know, you'd have to think, well, I need a web server. I need a, you know, I need a database uh, to store there. So, you know, maybe you'd use, you know, like, like PHP, uh, you'd use SQL uh, or MySQL or something there. Uh, and then, of course, you'd need to come up with some sort of uh, interface, right, to make these remote procedure calls, right, to, to actually communicate um, back and forth, All right? And that's a lot of work. Uh, and I, I won't kid you, uh, writing, you know, writing an endpoints API uh, is a fair amount of work too, but I assure you that it's a lot less than, than the alternatives, right? So a lot of things are going to be hidden for us and are going to be done for us. So uh, where are we going to start? Um, so first of all is, is that you know, this, this thing is going to be running on App Engine, right? So App Engine is going to give us uh, you know, a, a web page, right? A way to host a web app. So the first thing we're going to do is actually, you know, go ahead and write and and, and test this web app, uh, and and actually dealing with the movie quotes model, right? So movies and quotes and the time that they were inserted. Uh, so that's that's where we'll start, and we'll see that you know that it's going to be storing things in its NoSQL database. Uh, so that's great. Uh, but then we want to actually create the API, and to do this, you know, in, until we get into clients, the way that we're going to test it is to use the API Explorer that you saw in, you know, just a few minutes ago, right? So, so that's our focus, uh, you know, for now. So, so endpoints is, you know, is essentially, it's a series of, of or a set of tools uh, and libraries that we're going to be using that are going to expose our interface to um, all of the mobile clients. But here we're going to be focusing on, you know, like I say, on the, on the back end itself. All right, so um, let's get go over uh, while we're you know talking about an overview. Um, so let's look first at, at the files that we're going to be creating in this unit. Uh, so a couple different things. Uh, so models are sort of the key one, right? So we're going to make this this model here for for a movie quote class. Uh, and you know from the for the web client side, um, we're going to be dealing with with main.py and configuration for that. You know as as far as actually navigating to that page is going to happen in a in a YAML file. So app.yaml. Uh, and then uh, over on the other side, the API that we're going to be creating would go inside another Python file. Right. So let's dig in a little bit further. Uh, let's look at the, the UML. Right. So the different classes that we're going to be dealing with here. Um, so in main.py, uh, we're going to be um, using a main handler that extends request handler. Right. And again, this, these, these right here are our Google classes, um, sort of up, up on the top. Uh, our model class is going to be movie quote, and that's going to extend endpoints model. Again, another Google class. And uh, third, uh, we're going to be writing our, our in our API file here. We're going to be writing a movie quotes API, and that's going to extend service, uh, which is a, a class in the the proto RPC um, dot remote package. Again, being used for remote procedure calls and using a Google uh, endpoints proto data store. Right, so they're um, the storage. So for most of this unit, uh, rather than kind of bouncing back and forth between slides uh, and you know sort of hands-on coding, uh, what I'm going to be doing is is working through a, a document, so a little, little bit denser format, um, and I won't be bringing it up on the screen most of the time. Uh, most of the time, I'll actually just just be going through uh, and doing things. Uh, so. Um, you're welcome to follow along with the document if you like. It should be a good reference for you. Uh, but if you're watching the video, it's up to you whether, whether you do that. Let's go ahead and, and go to the doc right now. And we'll see that, that we're going to start off uh, and our next lesson is going to be set up. All right, so hope to see you next time to set up the project.